Hey Fit Fam! Today I have an awesome giveaway courtesy of CSP Embroidery. To be entered to win this awesome Fit Club fanny pack, you have to tune in for next week when I announce the winner. Like this video, comment CSP can do it, and share this video now. Well, you're in for a treat today. Today's guest on Nary's Kitchen is a three-time champion and world champion professional boxer, a certified personal trainer. She has a fetish for shoes and googly eyes, sometimes together, I don't know, <laughs> and she would rather frame a house than wash dishes. She loves stand-up comedy, born in Brampton, Ontario, but has lived in Winnipeg all her life. Please welcome Olivia the Predator Garula. <laughs> 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 Thank you, Nanny. Hey, hey. That's a great intro. Yes, it was a great intro. Grand entrance for sure. <laughs> so, tell me about yourself. You have you're a three time champion. I am. Audrey's gonna steal my belt back there. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I've been doing this um, as long as I can remember. It's, it's been twenty two years professionally. Twenty two years. Yeah, so wow. it's been a long time. Pretty heavy. But, oh my yeah. goodness. Never mind. Try this one. Try that one on. <laughs> You mean like put it oh, around it. my waist? Oh, See how heavy? oh my gosh, this is heavy. <laughs> this is heavy. Yeah, I know. But yeah, there's straps. So um, yeah, no, I've just been, uh, I'm still following this. I'm, I'm hoping to retire in another year or so. Okay. But the plan is to move to Vegas and just basically eat, sleep, and breathe boxing and finish my career with the respect it needs. So, okay. Um, the fact that I've been able to do what I've been able to accomplish in Winnipeg and mm -hmm. on the level, like boxing is not a huge sport here and mm -hmm. in this country in general. So, yeah, give it all I've got one more time and yes. finish it up. Go for it. Mine yeah. as well, right? <laughs> Okay, so what are we making today? So today I brought, so I was surprised when you did this. I thought I was going to be your Vanna White and be like, oh, here's your sugar. Or here's your, here's your, no, no, no that's me. And then I was like told, well, bring, what do you want to bring? And I'm like, what? I'm cooking? So anyhow, um, our family recipe that my kids have loved, like growing up and mm -hmm. everybody in my family, they're called candy cookies. Okay. And they're super simple to make. And I'm not saying they're healthy at all for you, but. I, did, I didn't <laughs> ask, you know, as long as it's tasty. Things could be worse. So right? super simple. There's no actual baking in it. It's just okay. on the stove. Okay. And then it needs to be refrigerated for a couple hours. So okay. So I did a little bit of a cheat and I pre-baked a batch and I brought it so you guys can test it. Okay. But if you want to go ahead and cook with me, I'll yes, get you Yes, let's do it. I'm okay. excited. Super I'll simple. I'll just move this here yeah. out of the way. <laughs> let's not cook that. Yeah, no, no. I took a cheat and I took the picture of the recipe on my book so I didn't bring it with me. Okay. So, in the pot, the first thing we're going to need is half a cup of milk. Half a cup of milk? Yeah. Okay. And then, do I put it all over the uh, stove? Probably medium heat, yeah. Medium we'll heat? need a medium heat. We're basically going to melt down the sugar. Okay. Which there is a lot of. <laughs> and so we're using 1% milk, but you can use pretty much any type of milk, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay. Anything on milk. Would you can probably cook with almond milk as okay. well. Okay. ways. I didn't know about a substitute for our sugars, mm -hmm. but... No, we'll just use the real sugar. <laughs> right? Okay. I have half a cup of milk in a pot over medium. Right. And then butter. Can't forget your butter. Can't forget Do the butter. Do not use margarine. Always use butter. <laughs> There's a difference, actually. There is. A huge true. difference. And the taste, Although too. Although I do love margarine. But that's, yeah. Cup of that. Throw that on in. That's going to melt. All right. Oh, it's nice and soft too. Thank yeah, goodness. It's been sitting there. <laughs> Good. Makes things easier. Okay, so one cup of butter. Yeah, and basically you're going to need to let that sit for a little bit and melt down. And then we are going to spread in the sugar as well. So you're going to need that same uh, measuring cup. Okay. The, the full cup? Uh, we need two cups of sugar. Oh, so two yeah. cups of sugar. <laughs> okay, it's a real treat then. <laughs> I didn't lie. <laughs> Can I get that? Yes. I'm just going to pour it. If I over pour, oops. But I guess you can also use Splenda if you wanted to, right? Yeah, I'm not sure. You never know with like substitutes on what is healthier for you. Like, exactly. So much, nah. Nah. <laughs> not not <laughs> just, today. Not I'm today. I'm not going to go there because there's yeah. so much mixed information about it. But I'm sure there's a way to make these a little better. But they're so I'm tasty not, just as is. True. I'm not sure either, but I've been to some restaurants. I used to go to this place called Dessert Sensations, and they had a diabetic cake where the cake was made out of Splenda and then the whipped say, cream. all cakes diabetic? <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Sorry. No. But it was like, if you're diabetic, right, do you really want to go and try a diabetic cake? Yeah. I, I, think I still you, think there's lots you, of carbs. Yeah, but if you don't get cake, I'd still try it. <laughs> I know, I would try. If I, you can fake making like 
mashed potatoes out of cauliflower, which is BS, by the way. That's not it's, true. It doesn't taste like mashed it's potatoes. It's not mashed potatoes. No, it's, it's not. Imposters and they're wrong. Yeah. But either way, <laughs> I mean, if I couldn't eat normal cake, then that's where I would go. Yeah. So for this, we need six tablespoons of cocoa. Oh, six tablespoons? Yeah, that's going to even out your sugar, so the sweetness of it. Okay. And I went fancy and got Hershey's there, so. <laughs> Always have to go yeah. fancy. <laughs> Those are heaping scoops, lady. Okay, four. Okay. <laughs> it's going to be bitter. <laughs> okay. okay, okay. Okay, make sure it's like the right measurement, not heaping. Okay, let me go under on this one then. There you go. There, there. we go. We'll even it out. <laughs> That's cute. Yeah, with baking, like you have to be exact. I realize that. And just let it cook. Yeah, you basically have to bring it to a boil and you have to let it simmer. Um, and that's the mistake I've made a couple times is I don't let it cook long enough. It doesn't break down the sugars. Oh. It's granulated more. Mm -hmm. So it actually, if you don't know what this is, basically the, the ingredients are super simple. Um, sugar, butter, milk, cocoa, um, oat, mm -hmm. or sorry, oatmeal, mm -hmm. and um, cocoa. That's it. Like just loads of it. So um, it tastes like a giant macaroon. Mm. Like, <laughs> okay. And this is a family recipe. Yeah. Yeah, I've heard people call them fiddle saddles before. Fiddle saddles? Fiddle saddles, yeah, I don't what know. What kind of word is that? I don't know. I have a girlfriend that calls them that. I don't know. We've always called them candy cookies. I think I've tried these before. I think I might have had them at your house. Probably. <laughs> at your um, going away party. <laughs> For sure. I'm sure I would have baked them. Or it's maybe your time. daughter brought them. I think I think I've tried them, but You're they were right. they, they were really yummy. Them. Yeah, she did make them, and she made them little mini ones. For yes, yes, yeah, yeah. She did do that. Okay. Do I keep stirring it or just let yeah, it cook? Yeah, let it go. It'll start to bubble. Okay. Um, what do you want for heat? I'm on five out of nine. Is that yeah, good, or should it be fine. higher? Yeah, medium's fine. It just takes a little while, and that's going to be again with the fill about eight minutes of time. Oh, eight minutes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, I don't know. Eight, ten minutes somewhere in there. Just so it all breaks down. Okay, well, while we're waiting, why don't you teach me how to box, oh, Olivia? Oh, good lord. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to fight. Now? Yeah, let's do it. In I'm the, the champ in my house. Why not? <laughs> okay, what's a basic move? I work downtown, right? Yeah. Downtown Winnipeg at City Place. And yeah. sometimes it's not safe, right? So, like, I need to know how to protect myself, too, in the event something happens. Okay. What but at this I point, I'm going to teach you to elbow someone in the throat and kick him in the junk. Yes, you <laughs> know what? It's funny. funny. That's not going to be boxing yeah. technique, but... That's what Arte told me. He's like, if someone yeah. attacks you, yeah. just go straight for the junk because yeah. they that's, would literally die. That's like, part of it. <laughs> that's part of it. <laughs> but we can go into a fight stance and I can show you basics one, okay, two. Okay, okay. So if you are you're left-handed or right-handed? I'm left-handed. Are you left-handed? Yeah. Left so actually, I need to be on this side. Okay, all right. Because I like to be on the left side. <laughs> It's true. Left-handers oh, like to... Four. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So if I'm in a fight, I have to go move on this side. <laughs> That's not how that works. But okay. So you're going to stand with your both feet together. Okay. And then for you, you're going to step your left foot back. So your right foot's in the front. Okay. And then your back foot's out a little bit before 45 oh, degrees. Like this? Okay. Uh, a little more or less than in your elbow, your knee. Or your, so rotate in straight. Oh, God. See my foot? It's at 45. Oh, like yeah, this. Like oh, that, okay. Like okay. Yeah, okay. good. Hands are up. Elbows are in. Chin tucks down. So your hands, if you don't know how to make a proper fist, yeah. open your hands wide and then squeeze them together, roll in, and then you want to get the meat of your knuckles like inside and then yeah. roll. Thumbs go around the tops so they actually curl <laughs> over that. Okay, there is a technique on how that, to roll. There is, yeah, how to roll your When you how have to gloves make a fist. on, it doesn't make a difference. Oh, there you go. okay. Okay, so you're into your jab, so you're going to be your right side, so you're... Yeah. Jab is going to go out here. Yeah. This is a good punch. This is a better punch. If I can actually stretch like your this? shoulder out. Yeah, because you get that length out of oh, your arm. Oh, really? Put it back in. And then your front foot's actually going to move as you jab. So you're sticking and throwing out. So it's a nice quick shot. Back and shoulder long. <laughs> That's all. Good. And then your right or your cross is going to be your left. So your back foot, you're going to keep your abs on a tight band. Okay. And then just turn your hip over. So whole foot. Like you're squishing a bug. Whole foot. Turn it more. Right over. Yes. Oh my goodness. There. So you're actually punching from your hip and your glutes. So you're going to really? actually put from here and here yes. and rotate over. So oh my your god, you're making me go. sweat already. I haven't <laughs> yes. even done anything. Yes. Okay. Okay, go. Oh, wait, let me stir first. Hang on. <laughs> okay. We're going to stir and cross. All right. Okay. 
Okay, I gotta learn how to fight. Okay. <laughs> so you're gonna face me more oh. uh, diagonal. Yeah, and then you're gonna cross here, and then rotate. So you're punching this hand from the left, oh, like turn, that. But turn your whole foot over. Punch from your hip. There you oh, go. that's better. I don't want to hit you too hard. <laughs> I don't. You won't. You Wait, hard, I'm wearing a ring. Oh yeah, I know you won't hit me back. <laughs> so, so try a one two. So combine okay. together. So you're gonna go with the left, or so you're gonna go right left for you. Okay, so, so like you're just gonna go for like one. This and then yeah, you're gonna hit okay. left. So right. Oh, like this. Yeah. Okay. So here and here. Then, yeah. Oh, okay. Again? And then make sure... Oh, you're God, God. <laughs> I didn't see that coming. <laughs> yeah, so just keep it your jaw. Like, that's where it's supposed Okay, to go. okay. But yeah, it's a simple one, too. Wow, oh, that nice. was fun. That worked. <laughs> They're so dainty. Oh, my goodness. No, that's not good. People don't actually understand how much uh, footwork and technique oh, goes Oh, my gosh. Places. Well, I didn't know I had to go and use, like, this leg. Yeah, it all comes from my hips. There's a reason I got the thigh, but I got... Well, I, I actually watched a show of yours, right? Mm -hmm. A couple of times at um, Club Regent, and I was like, oh my gosh, these women are hitting each other hard. I was like, if I got hit, I would be knocked down in the hospital, like in a coma. <laughs> Crazy. I love that response when people ask, if, like when they find out I'm a, I'm a world champion boxer, they're like, you know, I mean, like you get punched in the face. I'm like, yeah. But you like, like it. Do you really have headgear? I was like, no. No. Like, like the guys? Like, yeah, the same thing. <laughs> but oh, so, yeah. have you ever had a concussion then? I definitely have. Yeah. Yeah. Over 22 years, so probably three, maybe four tops. Um, I have gone through. I'm a study in uh, Toronto University, so mm -hmm. everything's clear. I've had all my medicals passed. Okay. No damage that I know Good. of. Good. So, yeah. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah. But it's one of those job hazards. Mm -hmm. So. But you like it though. You get that thrill from it, right? I love it. I'm not actually sure what I'm going to do when I'm done. So that's kind of the the thing about retiring is I don't know what is going to define me when I'm done. You got lots more time. Maybe two oh, lots more time. Maybe? Okay, let's do it seven. It has to like crackle. Oh, crackle. Yeah. Okay, let's do You'll seven. See, it'll actually start to make like. like oh, it starts to bubble, bubble all the way up. It'll oh, okay. Be, yeah. Got it. You got lots of time. <laughs> okay. Wonderful. Okay, let's learn something new then. Uh, let's do another one. One more, one more, because I got like... <laughs> so, well, let, let's do this. Let's teach you how to hook, and then let's teach you how to weave, and then I'll actually get you to throw them together. So if you're in your stance, so you were... Yeah, I'm in my stance, yeah. Okay, so we're going to... It's a little weird, but you're going to shift your weight to your right. So rotate your foot over this side. Good. Okay. This hand's going to come out like you're knocking on a door, and you're going to turn back onto your hand. Good. This hand stays up by your face. This one turns over, and the foot connects with your hip. So we hands up. So am I trying to hit my, the person with my elbow? No, that's you're gonna hit with this. You can oh, throw an elbow after. Oh, okay. You're throwing a hook on the side. So okay. We're gonna rotate to shift our weight into it, bend the front knee, yeah, and then come back over and throw it up. So oh, okay. in the middle of it. So if I'm here, yeah, you're actually hitting my hand. You're gonna okay. stop at the top. Oh, yeah. good. Okay, when you ah! stay there. Yeah. Good. So this is where I'm gonna hit you in the face. But if you keep your elbow up, yeah. if I go to hit you, yeah. I'm gonna hit your elbow. Yeah. That's your guard as well. Oh. So I keep your heart okay. up so that you don't hit me. Okay. Clear. That's okay. better. And this is actually a better connection. <laughs> yeah. Yay. Okay. So other side, same idea. So yep. the right foot's gonna turn over just to get it with the cross. Yep. So this side's gonna go to the left, turn over. Like this? Yeah. Elbow up. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Good. Okay. One more. <laughs> okay. So we. This is where it gets fun. So you're going to turn, drop, roll, and roll around in a circle. Okay. So you're going to turn your weight and shift underneath. So basically... Like this way? Yeah. Or like this either way. way. Either way. Okay. So if I throw a hand this way, yeah. you're going to go with it away from it. Drop. Yep. Oh. Underneath. Oh. Okay. Good. This side's the other way. Oh, that way. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So if I throw it by, I'm just going to go slow. So you're going to go with me and then just yep. lower enough that you cut your head. Stay there. Yeah. No, stay on this side. Oh. Come on. Yeah. Hook. Oh, Good. okay. So this side you're going to weave underneath, drop roll. Then oh, this good. way. Keep okay. Keep your head up, that gets kicked. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I like that move, though, because, like, we always do this kind of move in the gym, right? Yeah. So they come from your feet a oh, little bit more. Bubbling. Oh, it's bubbling. Okay. No, is this we good? Got, yeah, that's good. We oh, it's not burning? That, like, no, we keep that for a while. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. How much? Is there anything sticky on the bottom? I don't know. I think we're okay. So, so make sure you watch just... this too while you're learning. <laughs> yeah. Still good? Yeah, it's still good. Not it's too high though? It's going to be a while. No, okay. I think it's okay. Okay. We'll be good. A couple more minutes. <laughs> All right. So let's do this. I'm going to throw a weave at you. You're going to weave. Oh, like this? Yeah. Hook. Yeah. And then okay. jab. And then jab. Oh, okay. Just okay. okay. With this hand up by your face. Okay. So. We don't <laughs> <laughs> so you want to you want to out and around it. So if I go this way, you know yep. it's coming this way. So drop outside. So this way. Yeah, and, and then, then and this then way, and then jab. Okay, so both hands this, up. Then like that. But also your foot. So your back foot's gonna turn, and then your jab's gonna step. 
Oh my goodness. So, this so is like dancing. I'm like, so I can't fun. dance either. There's all these moves. <laughs> okay. So I throw a hook by my head nice and slow. A hook like this? Yeah, by my head. Okay, like so this. So we, yeah. I throw a hook, yeah. and then I throw a jab. Okay. Okay, let's try that again. Okay, so I'm going to throw we, okay. hook, and jab. jab. Oh, okay. good. With this hat. Try it again. So I have to keep this up? As soon as you put it back, as soon as you throw it, put it back to your face. So okay. So we're going to go, we, hook, face. <laughs> yeah, that's <a> better. <laughs> I'm trying. That was a better one. That was fun, like I swear, Jerome, I'm getting hot from this, and I barely, I barely did anything. I'm thinking this is hot. Never mind. Yeah, maybe. Okay, we still go in. So go to Make sure it caramelizes. So, what other ingredients do you need? Uh, the last thing you need to put in there is going to be vanilla, and you can add that now if you'd like. Vanilla. So it's one teaspoon. One teaspoon. Yeah, and then okay. kind of vanilla is like if you like it more, you put more. If you don't, oh, that's a tablespoon. Oh, what did you say? <laughs> Teaspoon. Oh, okay. See? See? Make sure you listen. That was going to be a lot of vanilla. You get drunk off of it too, right? <laughs> so write it down. It's really not that big. One teaspoon. One teaspoon. Okay. There we go. There. And that'll make it so it's a little bit more. Okay. And then I notice you have coconut here and oats. Yeah, I have sweetened and I have unsweetened. I kind of pick between whichever one you want. Um, and the oats just you'd want to have the uh, the minute oats, not the quick ones. So there's okay. one that are 60, one that are minute. Yeah. Or sorry, minute 90. Yeah. So you can go the quick oats. Okay. And it yes. makes a difference too, right? Because some it get, does. It gets soggy. Yeah. Okay. Now what's still like? So it's gonna be macaron. It doesn't have crunch at all, but it just mm -hmm. has filling. And then the original recipe to this had. Three cups of the oatmeal, okay, and then one cup of coconut. But okay, because our family loves it when it's like gooey, yeah, and we like the coconut. We yeah, half and half, so okay, we'll make it even. <laughs> Yummy. So maybe give it a few more stirs. Oh, a few more stirs. Yeah, yeah. smells really good already. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's looking good now. Mm-hmm. And how many cookies would this make? Uh, you know what? I think I want to say about, it depends how big you make them. I make them quite a lot, so for me, just over a dozen, but usually two dozen. Um, you know what? So I, I like them large right? too. Like, there's nothing sure. worse. Oops, there's <laughs> nothing worse than getting a small cookie. Yeah. Like, and I'm thinking. have one. Yeah. <laughs> no, you're going to have two or three yeah. for that. If you're small. having like a dinner party or anything, you just make them like oh, smaller yeah, yeah. and then it's easier to do. That's but, true. Yeah. So. And I do put them on um, the parchment paper on a cookie yep. sheet. But we've also, because once you um, use a spatula and pop them off, that's where they'll dry out more. So either you'll put them into a container that will okay, the I moisture see. in it will dry yeah. out. But other than that, we're good. Awesome. But you can make them right into like a, like a cupcake. Oh, container. okay. Yeah, so you can make it into that so it just no one has to touch it and they just take it off. Got it. That works like the too. mini ones too? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the mini ones would be a better one, I think, because they keep the form more. Mm-hmm. You know, I have them somewhere, but I don't know where it is. My kids play with everything, I swear. <laughs> oh, you don't do it. Your kids should like this if you let them eat it. <laughs> we'll see. One I say we minute. try it. Let's try it. Try it now? Let's see. Yeah. This? Why not? I feel like it's some boiling. Okay, so what, what now then? So now we're going to add the oatmeal. Do I turn it off? Yes. Okay. And how much oatmeal? So we're going to do a cup and a cup. We're going to make it even. Oh, a cup and a cup? Yeah. Okay. I'm giving that to you. <laughs> oh. I don't want to make a mess here. There we go. Okay. Okay, so we're doing a full batch, so you're going to go two of those. Okay. Two cups of oats. Yeah. There we go. And then we're going to follow that right up with the coconut. And I'm going to use half of the, or what's left of my shredded cocoa that was the sweetened. You want to make sure you buy the um, the shredded, the chunk or flake coconut. It doesn't work. It doesn't hold it together as well. And this one I can spill all I want. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> it's coconut. I brought one more if we needed more. Oh, that's good, yeah. <laughs> good job. <laughs> that one gets You it. made these before. <laughs> Definitely made these before. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to switch to a spoon to stir it in. I'm going to take it right off that so you can go from there. And so sometimes the consistency matters on how much you add after. So you'll see if it's really runny, then you have to add a little bit more of something else. But I think we picked it pretty good. It just depends. 
Yeah, I like that. So if you put it on the pan and it spreads out like the the slimy goo mm -hmm. kind of spreads out, then you yeah. know it wasn't. It doesn't have enough mix in it. Okay. So what about this one then? So this looks good. It actually, I probably put too much coconut. If I'm being honest. <laughs> Oh, I that's my fault, but that's okay. All right, so I'm gonna wash my hands. Only the way to make this work is you're gonna just basically spoon it into the pan. That was hot, <laughs> and it doesn't matter how big you make them, but this is kind of my style of. That's kind of the size I like to make. So it's just a matter of doing that, and you spoon them in. Yes, there's butter on that. We're gonna we'll enjoy that later. That's it. Super and simple. you just let it cool just like that? You'll put it in the fridge. For how long? For, ah, um, you know what? It depends on, again, I'm going to say two hours. Two hours? Okay. Yeah. Can you put it in the freezer? Will that speed it uh, up? Yeah, but that wouldn't, that wouldn't be as good. Okay. I don't think. You probably could. I haven't actually tried them in the freezer, to be honest with you. All right. Just in case you do make these again, I'm going to give them to you. Get in there. Me? Yeah, why not? Might it's as well. It's better. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And we spilled some, so I'm going to eat that. Yeah, eat it. Don't waste. You know what? One of my pet peeves is wasting food. Like, I really hate doing it. Looks good. And I like big cookies, too. There. And we're probably going to need a second pan. Yeah, we will. <laughs> Do you know what the macros are by any chance? No, not a chance. You know, it's funny. I, I don't like that question. I don't even know why I asked for that. I seriously don't like that question. I get that question asked a lot. Yeah. And I'm just like, you know, just have one or two. Don't go crazy over it. Then you'll be okay, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm a firm believer in eating what you want and making up for it in the gym. Yeah. <laughs> Within reason. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, to be honest. We're all, we're all I, mean, like I don't walk that. around at fight weight for a reason. Yeah. kind of like food. But, uh, Okay, we'll probably need another pan. We'll 100% oh, need another pan. Oh my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> That's one, two, three. That's 12. 12. Yeah, it doesn't. Okay, so we made more. Okay, my other pan is here. And then parchment. Parchment, okay. Okay. You know, some space for you. Oh, I need another one. And these are called candy cookies, you said, right? Yep. Or fiddle saddles. Like, no fiddle saddles. I'm not going to promote that. That is a ridiculous name. <laughs> it is. Who says fiddle saddles? <laughs> <laughs> a friend of mine who's going to watch this and be like, they are fiddle saddles. No, they're not. <laughs> candy cookies. Damn it. We should just edit that out and say it wasn't that at all. <laughs> but this is the family recipe? Yeah. I don't know where it originally came from, but... Um, we do. We have this whole like Ewald cooking book and so on. So. And do you guys have this like um, at family gatherings, or is it more like pretty much um, for any time? For any time, okay. Anytime. <laughs> I wasn't sure if it was like a Christmas cookie. No, it's kind of an anytime cookie. It's just yeah, it's pretty much all of our favorites put together, and that's how it goes. So I'm doing this kind of sloppy, sloppily. A little bit. <laughs> that's yeah, okay, though. a little that's bit. That's how it goes. But I mean. Feel free to shape it into a nice shape. Yeah, it is what it is. If you had an ice cream scoop, it'd be a, a lot nicer, but I don't. When So I don't always use parchment paper. That's just a nice, clean way to do it. <laughs> use the pan. But all the little mess that she's leaving, those are the fun ones to scrape off with your spatula later and eat. So <laughs> that's always good. Okay, I think I'm almost done here. All right. Okay, we'll just make like a really big giant one. Oh my goodness. That'll be for RJ. I don't I don't know if I have room. Oh, one more. <laughs> one more cookie. Actually, Jerome too. Yeah. <laughs> there was this one time like we made synagogue, right? Okay. And uh, Wilson was the host. So I said to the guys, you know, I have to go feed my kid. I'll just be in my bedroom, yada, yada, yada. RJ wasn't home. And so when RJ gets home, right, he's looking forward to all this food. And all the food was gone. He, and RJ's like, where's all the food? I said, I don't know. I was with the kids, right? Jerome and, um, <laughs> yeah, Jerome and Wilson finished. And RJ was not happy. <laughs> so then later that night, I had to make more of it. Oh, a good thing I had all the ingredients, had, right? Yeah, you would have had the recipe. Yeah, that works. I had it. I, I saw how Wilson made it, and it was so easy, so I made it. All right, so we almost made two dozen, but we would have made two dozen provided we made smaller pieces. So. This is 24. No, wait, 20, 12, 12 plus okay. 10, 
22. Yeah, yeah. that's a lot. Okay. <laughs> so we See, refrigerate no this. No boxer do math. That's fine. Well, I <laughs> have to count it too, and I, I'm pretty good at math. <laughs> you almost paid two dozen. Yeah. Right, so we can put them in the fridge, and then I also have the ones due on test them now. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. I don't know where in your fridge you want to put that. That's up to you, my dear. Okay. Where do you want to? You know, I don't know. Oops, Let's wait. see. <laughs> now you guys can see what my fridge looks like. I would go um, on top of the eggs. Or go right across there. Yep. Okay. Oh, no, you want that there. Oh, you, this? Yeah. Okay. Okay, I'm going to let you do that. Oh, has oh. it dumped the whole thing over here? My fridge is so empty. Yeah, see one shelf? And then where else? Um, You can put the other one, I guess, over here. Would that um, work? You know what, actually... I lied. I'm kicking you out again. We have it right here. Yeah, do it. Oh, you can see my stash. I'm not doing okay, wait, It's funny. I want to show you guys thing. this. I want to show you guys this. This is my stash of bars, and it says, Nary, do not touch, because RJ is not allowed to touch this. He, he has his batch, and then I have my batch, but I had to put a sign. I had to put a sign that says, RJ, do not touch. I kind of want to ask you how many macros are in there, but I don't want to know. Don't ask me how many macros. There we go. Yeah, sort of. Okay, oh, perfect. That'll work. Okay. Do you drink coffee? I don't drink coffee. Do you don't drink coffee? Sip, uh, yeah, I'm not. Co I, could you imagine me on coffee? I'd be a nut. How about decaf? Yeah, no. What? It's just a flavor I don't like. It's oh. Just, it's been okay. that way for life. Well, I, I feel like making coffee. <laughs> make some coffee. I love some Okay, let's, let's make a quick coffee drink. <laughs> because we're making right, cookies, right? cookie with the coffee. Let's make, um, That'll so work. I saw this on Instagram. It's called a Dalgona coffee. Okay. So basically, like now we're all in lockdown and quarantine, right? People couldn't go to Starbucks. They couldn't go to to get coffee, right? So they were making their own coffees. So I've seen it and I want to make this coffee too. So Olivia, you're actually going to help me with this. Oh boy. All right. Yes. If I mess up coffee. <laughs> so we need instant coffee. Okay. But uh, you know what? Let's, let's use real caffeinated coffee. <laughs> Okay. Oh, you know, I'll get you to make it for me, actually. Teach me. I'll do so it. So it's two tablespoons of instant. And this. I actually didn't know this is what coffee looked like. <laughs> to tell you the truth. No. No. And then I need um I need a cup of hot water. So I'm just gonna get my uh, cure. I can just make some water here. Oh. Have you guys ever watched uh, the Homer Simpson one where he's going on the floor and then whoop, 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 in circles? I no. think that's how I'd be if I had coffee. If you had coffee, <laughs> he's on the floor. So we're using stevia here, but I need two tablespoons of stevia. Okay. Do we okay mixing it with cocoa? That's fine. fine. All right. We're cross-contaminating this right now. For the rest of your stevia life, you're going to have cocoa. Well, actually, it's okay. You know what, let's add one more scoop. One more scoop of stevia. Three? <laughs> yeah, because Orji likes it really sweet. And this is stevia. I don't know how sweet it is. Okay. Okay, actually, no, don't. don't. We'll just stick Ouch. to the recipe then. <laughs> and then I need to blend it. And where did you say this was made? Well, it originated from Korea. Okay. But everyone's just been making this coffee because we had nothing else to do in lockdown, right? So it was super popular I in March. I had to make coffee in lockdown, but okay. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but okay. And then I need two cups of water if you want to add two cups of hot Is water. Is Yep. That cannot be two cups. Is that two I mean, sorry, two tablespoons. Okay, two thank tablespoons, you. Yeah. I'm like, there's no way. Is that going to work? I guess I could have spilled it in. Hey? Oh, look. My cup. Best mom ever. That was a gift from RJ. <laughs> Very nice. And All I'm right. going to get you. You need me to lend it to you. Yeah. You're not putting me to work. This is <laughs> I'm not even drinking it. <laughs> All right. You just blend it. That's it. That's right. it. We'll see how it looks. This almost looks like I made her make. I love that my phone is in this. <laughs> oh shit. Doesn't matter what speed I have it on? The higher the better. Oh yeah. So you're trying to rip the coffee, right? I guess so. Ooh, we are. No, keep going. <laughs> Three minutes, I think. 
coffee. It's going. Yeah, I'm going. Yeah. I'm glad we didn't have to risk this. Oh, I know. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> No coffee right now. It's almost ready. good now. This is the one beater I'm not going to lick. No, <laughs> that would be my thing, but I'm not doing that today. So all I did was just add um, milk over ice, and then we just put this on top. It's the fancy coffee. <laughs> and then it looks like that. All right. And then you can mix it if you want, but I just want you to see the layers. It's a good mixture. Straw or a spoon. Probably should have made a little bit more, but pretty much whipped coffee. Where is your a spatula or a little? I, I don't, don't know. know <laughs> the kids. The kids. I swear they take everything. Look. Oh, I think this should all be you. This okay. is not me. I'll give this to you, Olivia, and this is yours, RJ. There, no, I think, I think both of the coffee drinkers, get over here. You cannot abandon me on this. Try it, try it. I'm going to waste this whole thing because I'm not going to want to drink it. It's not going to get wasted. Okay. <laughs> Are we just <laughs> Yeah, I know. I gave it to baby spoon. <laughs> Fine. Oh, okay. I'm going to do one spoon and then I'm out. <laughs> well, you can mix it too, but it's just... No. No. No, no, no mixing? Just going to do it and get it done with... Oh. No. That's wrong. <laughs> well, you're supposed to mix it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was no. A lot of coffee. Not going to sleep for a week. <laughs> okay, but wait, but wait. That tastes like a dessert. But wait. Oh. Okay, yeah, we have the coffee. Have it with a cookie. Wait, wait. Yes. Okay. okay. That's, I just had a spoon, so you're on that one. Okay. I'll take half. Here, I'll save this for you, Jerome. That's Mmm. Mm. See, now they have to lie and pretend it's good. No, it's this is really so good. good. <laughs> mm. And see this? See, now, if you dip that in there, maybe we can do that. That's okay. <laughs> it's better when you mix it. Wow, is that good? <laughs> yeah, you're supposed to mix it. Mmm. Wow. <laughs> okay. Same household. <laughs> yes, <Yeah>, same household. <laughs> I like it. It's delicious. I'm sure it is. It's really good. Coffee. Wow. It just needs a tad bit more sweetener. Mm. <laughs> Remember, I didn't so use sugar. I used the right stevia. With three of them. What's that? You were probably right with three. I was right with three, but I didn't. I wasn't sure how sweet it would be. Because right. this is not real sugar, right? So. Mm. Well, Olivia, thank you so much <laughs> for joining me on the show. It was so much fun. Thanks for having me. I really do hope you have another <laughs> sip of my coffee. And these cookies are fantastic. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> I hope you enjoy them. Daddy. Thanks, guys, for tuning in. And next week, we have Carbone's Pizza. Daddy. I'll see you guys next week. Bye now. Bye. <laughs>